Well, how do then, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steers, have got myself a cup of coffee for this one, people? Now, this is one of those real or fake videos. I've found something on YouTube which has got me perplexed, people. I need your help yet again to discern whether this is real or is it fake. So let's jump on over to the Tinterwebs. Let me show you what I've managed to find to tantalise your eye peepers. Here we go. So here I am. Now, I'm over on Obscure Lodge at the moment. And he's put up a bit of a video here. So if I make this a bit bigger, and this is over in Russia. I'm very sorry if there's swearing in Russian, but I don't understand Russian. So here we go. Let's hit play on this and let's see exactly what's being said. So he's got a sliver of glass there. Hey, okay, now. I can't really understand what this guy is actually saying, but he does give the actual video link of where he found this. So I've popped on over here and he's got loads of videos. He's got 34,000 subscribers. I can't read whether his, um, his, his, his channel is for entertainment or what. I mean, I suppose I could try translating this, I suppose. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's um, yeah, do Russian to English in a moment, people. But anyway, let's scroll on down and let's have a look at his videos. This one I, I've, I've watched. This one was quite cool. So here we go. Check this out. So this is with the glass on. You see this like rotating, like pyramid up there. Look at that. Freaking freaky, right? And then he moves the glass in a minute and he actually puts his finger there. And I, I've slowed this right, right down. And I can't see where it's been edited. And you see how he's moving it around because he's zoomed in as well. And he's got the piece of glass in front of his camera. For him to track this and get it to do that with the same sort of blur, he's either super talented or this is real. But wait, wait till he moves the glass. Here, look, here we go. Look, see, look at that. It's pretty darn freaking mental, isn't it? I mean, if, if I go back there slightly, then if I go back into playback speed and I put it at hus like really slow speed. I can't see if there's a cut or whether there's an edit or what. I'm not seeing any artifacting. I'm not seeing anything that makes me question this to say, I think this has been doctored. It all looks pretty legit to me. Okay. So I really don't know what to make of it. And that's why I've brought it to you guys out here in the viewerverse to find out what you guys think. It's an oddity. Whatever it is, it's it's pretty darn freaking odd. Anyways, maybe I got this at the wrong point or something, but it's it is pretty darn freaking mental. But yeah, you can do all your own research into this. Go through his videos. Take a look what you think. I'll be putting a video link inside of the actual um, in the video description. What's this? That almost looked like computer edited footage there, didn't it? Like 3D ball. But I think he's just using... I mean, look, that that's, that looks like it's you know some sort of AI sort of thumbnail there. Pretty crazy stuff. I mean, there's these orb type ones, there's flat discs ones, that's uh, there's that, that flying weird thing. Is this where he finds the glass? I don't think it is. Because there's videos prior to that where he's still seeing these UFOs. Pretty mental. Now, I don't speak Russian and I haven't gone and translated any of this stuff, so I can't really say for sure what the fudge is going on here. But it's pretty interesting stuff, people, inside the view of us, I have to say. Pretty impressed myself. But there we go. There's there's quite a lot of oddities going on. I mean, look, let's take this one. This looks like there might be three spaceships in this one. Oh, look, there's three up there. Pretty awesome. And it's passing past that lamppost. But right there, you know, that could be anything. That could just be, like man-made aircraft couldn't it there might be an explanation for that one 
We've got cars going past and stuff. But there's the piece of glass again. He has still got the glass in this one as well. Interesting stuff. There we go. There's another one. Just shooting. And another one going the opposite direction. I saw one going the opposite way that he didn't clock onto. But that one could be man-made craft. I mean, it's not like he zoomed all the way in. Not like that other one where you could see that rotating freaking triangle thing there. And he's, he's like always checking to see if he can spot another UFO with the piece of glass. And I'm sure was, as he was doing that, I saw one around the middle there just pop up a second ago. Unless it was an artifact or something. Thoroughly interesting channel. But, you know, if he was to be faking this, surely he'd be doing stuff like that rotating freaking diamond in every single video. But he's not. It's whatever he captures is whatever he captures. And that's what he shares out on his actual channel. So I'm I'm pretty convinced with this one that it, 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 there might be something to it. Unless I can start, you know, translating freaking Russian people. Okay, well, why while he's um, doing that for you guys over there, I'm going to have a little translate on my opposite screen of what I copied earlier to my clipboard. Russian. Uh, I hope if I was typing with two hands. Yeah. Right, Russian text in there. This is an entertainment channel about what doesn't exist, is what is actually put. Right. Okay. I, I think I may have debunked this. There you go. Well, yeah, really? Oh, I'm gutted, people. There you go. Look, I'll put it on this screen for a second. Chikapow. This is an entertainment channel about what doesn't exist. Man, I should have done my homework before coming to you guys inside the viewerverse. It does make you think. I mean, a lot of channels have to actually put this on. It's like if you do anything on witchcraft or anything like that, or even the paranormal, you have to say that it's an entertainment channel. Or else it gets taken down as being misinformation. So maybe he's had to put that statement on there. Again, let us know in the viewer verse what you think. I mean, that looks like a freaking pigeon. Oh, here we go. That's what we're supposed to be looking at right there. It's underneath my um, head at the moment, people. Is it going to come into view? There it is. There it is. There it is. It's this little ball over here. Heck yeah. You see what I mean? If he was to fake this, wouldn't he go to town and do something better than that? You know? There we go. Zoomed in now. There he goes. Meow. It's like a ball bearing or something, doesn't it? But I'm not seeing anything that's overly aliased around it. It, it, it looks in keeping with the rest of the video. The pixel density, the resolution, it looks like it belongs. It doesn't look like it's been edited. So if this guy has managed to edit this, he's done a seriously good job of it. Anyway, people, like I say, let us know in the comments. Is this real or is it fake? Heck yes. Anyways, I'm a little bit disappointed with I found that little bit of text, that little bit of translation. And, uh, and all the comments on here are all sort of in Russian as well. Very nicely faked with the program Power Director. Green screen application over and over doing the same trick. Really? I've got Power Director. I don't think I could pull that off myself. But, uh, pretty interesting stuffage. I noticed your skies are not full chemtrails like ours. You have very nice black bruised skies. Not that we see that anymore in America. Yeah, that's another conspiracy that I could jump into, isn't it, really, to be fair. How can I contact you? Yes, I want a piece of that glass as well. I want to make myself some glasses like They Live. Heck yes. That's that's what this reminded me of, is the movie They Live. If you don't know what I'm on about, the movie They Lived is freaking awesome. It's got Rowdy Rowdy Piper, the wrestler, yeah, as the main sort of antagonist. And he's got these glasses that let him see reptilians true form almost like aliens walking amongst us and all sorts of weird stuff and you see signboards saying obey it's very in keeping with today's times people so yeah, if you like a an old school b movie check out they live i think you'll be i think you'll quite like it, it it's tongue-in-cheek it's a bit corny 
but it's it, it's a fun movie and that's what this piece of glass reminded me of is is that movie i kind of want to go watch that myself now but anyway people i think i'm going to say this is fake i think it's done for entertainment purposes and i think that the fake that he's managed to pull off is just a very good one but at the same time i thought it would share it with you it's it's something odd isn't it it's something fun anyway thank you for watching goodbye goodbye and goodbye again